guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. Today I'm going to try and dye my hair. And I don't know if I want to dye my hair, so I need to start before I can dump myself out of it. Basically, I've been having a down day, and I know it's just been like a down whole few months. It's been a long period. And basically, whenever I'm having like a tough day, I feel like I should dye my hair because that used to help me. And I don't know if I want to dye my hair because I really love this blonde. I've been honestly loving the blonde life. And I feel like having the dark as well. I love it. So I don't know if I should dye it or not. I don't know. But I've tried this dye before on my channel. It is a Dusky Rose Ray's Revolution Drops. And it didn't work. So I kind of want to try it again. Like, when I tried this, it did nothing to my hair. So I kind of want to give it... It's not even a second chance, it's a third chance. I kind of want to give it a third chance to see if it can work. I don't know, we'll see. So you're meant to mix this dye, a bit like Shrine, with your own conditioner, 100 mils of conditioner. And thanks to the Shrine toners, I have a little bowl telling me exactly where 100 mils is, which is very handy. I had like all of these little conditioners and I was just like, screw it, I'm just gonna use all of these today. So they're gone, the bowl is full. And now I want to add my drops. So allegedly, six drops will get you a really pretty rosy gold pink colour. It doesn't. When I used this, I used like 20 drops and nothing happened. So, I don't know. Okay, I've just put 15 large drops in my bowl. And now I'm going to mix it. It looks like blood. Genuinely, it's that dark, but it looks like blood. Oh sod it, I've not used a whisk in a while. Initially that looked like it was like a lot, a lot of pigment. But where's it all gone? Because now it's just like a brown colour. Not a very attractive browny colour. This is not remotely what I want. And to be quite frank, I don't trust this. So I'm going to mix in a bit of Pink Rays. It's by the same brand, but I've never tried this one. I have no idea if it works. I guess we'll find out. Okay, I've just added in four drops of that. Same thing. Initially it looks like a lot of pigment and then the pigment just sort of disappears because it's still like a brown colour. I added in another three drops and now it's like that and it's like a rose gold. I'm going to swatch this for you. That's the colour. Okay, that is not going to stay in my hair because, like, you can literally wipe it away and there's no staining left. <sighs> These dyes just seem crap. Right, let's add in another three drops. So there's ten pink. It's just not getting any pinker. Screw it. I'm going to add in another five. So now there's 25 of the other one and 15 of pink and like if this doesn't make like a pretty dye that will stain my hair i i don't know these bottles seem like crap so far this doesn't seem like it's dye feels like i'm playing with food coloring and trying to dye my hair with it although to be honest some food colorants will probably do a better job than this they pack some pretty strong pigment and clearly this does not. Can you imagine if I used 25 drops of like shrine? Honestly, compared to this. So it still looks incredibly light. And it doesn't even look pink, it looks more peach. What the hell? Should I even use this? I really don't know. I added in another three drops of pink. I'm gonna give up soon on the notion of it actually going pink because I really don't think it's gonna. Look at the colour difference between my scoop and my, my whisk and the mix or even the bowl and the mix. It's just like rose gold and I don't know what to do. That is way too orange based. Yep, and when you like rub it away, it looks peach. I am not remotely understanding this dye. It has like a pink hue around it, but like the dye in the middle looks pink, peach, sorry. 
so maybe it's like it looks peach when you got when it goes on your head and then you wipe it away and it goes pink because that's pink although that is a very light pink i'm not even sure that that would stain my hair to be quite honest i mean it's a pretty color but light really really light so what the hell add in another five drops of pink i'm getting stressed can you tell this is just like not how i thought that my day would go i still don't even know if i want to dye my hair i don't know why i'm putting myself through this it's the same i feel like it's not even remotely changing color anymore because it just looks this exact same orange color and again when you wipe it away it's peach then when you really sort of wipe it away then it's pink although this one actually looks peachier than this one is the pink making it peach that's not the intended result at all i think i just need a more pigmented dye i'm gonna go look like that okay i found some crazy color pinkissimo this stuff is really pigmented so i'm just gonna like add that much i mean you can see it is very pigmented and it has a purple undertone so i feel like it might neutralize some of the peach this is just not the color that i want to put on my head right now it looks quite similar but i'm gonna just compare quickly and if i need to i could always add in more pinkissimo yeah okay that's the new one and that needs way more pigment mixing these dyes always takes so long it's so stressful i don't feel like the pinkissimo is really mixing into this dye very well I can still see it separating and latching onto the bowl, which is um, uncommon. I've not came across that before. And I'm going to swatch it, and honestly, I think I'm just going to go in with it. So, that's not pink. That dye right there, that don't look pink. That doesn't even look pink. But, the more you wipe it away, you can still see that there's pink undertones in it. I'm very perplexed right now, I don't know what to do, because that's what I've got. And there are all very different colours. We've got the rusty colour up here, we've got like a peachy colour here, then there's pink here, pastel, pastel, pink, and I don't know what to do. Okay, so I'm just going to go with it and try and do what I want it to do. Even though I really feel right now like this is an omen that I should not dye my hair today. I basically want still some blonde but some rose goldy. Well, I want it for like a pastel pink. See how already that strand looks blonde because when you wipe this dye away, I feel like it's gonna just basically all the colour is gonna come out in the shower. Or it might leave a pinky hue. I don't know, but either way, I feel like I'm not getting what I want today. Basically, I want some alternating strands of this, whatever this is, and some still blonde. And I'm fully aware that's going to be really difficult because I'm going to get this all over the blonde bits. But if I do, then I'm just going to apply this all over the blonde instead. And I've got a towel, so I'm going to keep wiping off my hands in between. You already know just how much I'm going to bloody struggle. Oh my gosh. Like... Why did I even commit to this? Why did I say I'd do this? Okay, so on my brush it looks like that. Honestly though, the amount of pigment, like the amount of drops that is in this mix, it should be like insane. I'm glad it's not, but it should be a lot brighter than this, is what I'm getting at. I already feel like quitting. Hmm. This is my life right now. I don't even know this is going to be such a bad job. I just don't care. A lot of this still just looks pretty blonde. Some even looks purple i don't understand how it would be able to go purple so i'm really hoping that that's like just my eyes deceiving me i've not got like any color on my hair right now it's blonde so it shouldn't be other colors 
like purple. On all the bits I want to stay blonde, I'm just going to put conditioner on them. Just so that the pink, I don't know, has a tougher time. Like, if it wants to get on this blonde bit. Does that make sense? Yeah, like, so it's like a barrier, basically. The conditioner can act like a barrier so that the pink can't get on the blonde. Dude, this is the hardest hair dye transformation. If it is a transformation, I don't know if it's gonna work, but this is the hardest hair dye color, like hair color I have ever tried. I really hope it works. No, I'm gonna be so disappointed at all of this effort. That one little bit is terrorizing me. It's the horrible sectioning for me. All the YouTubers I watch who do their hair make this sort of stuff look so easy. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I can do it. And then I try and I make a big zero of it. Where did that big blob of conditioner go? I saw it fall. Oh, all of my shorts. Lovely. Thanks so much for that universe. I needed it. I've literally just realised that like the back is going to be like 10 times worse than this. Kind of looks cool, right? I don't even know if I'm talking to you guys or myself. I suppose it's a bit of both. Ha, I caught that one. I'm getting really stressed at constantly just wiping my hands off. Like, that is not something that I should get stressed at, but it is something that I am stressed at. Shout out to AKA Aislinn, how do you do this with like six colours? How have you got the patience? I literally just keep wiping my hands off over and over again and it's so tedious. But, you know, this is better look good. So pink blonde, pink, but it is blonde, so I just add some more conditioner. Blonde, pink, blonde. I'm gonna make this section pink. I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm trying really hard right now. I'm just not doing a good job. I literally only just realised I'm doing this in a white top. Why the hell am I doing this in a white top? And why can't I get this clip open? If this all bleeds onto the blonde, I'm gonna be so, so annoyed. I normally use like really, really hot water in the shower, but I'm gonna use like quite cold. I can't bring myself to do freezing, but I will do cold today. Because if my work is ruined, I'm gonna be so, so pissed. Might be some blonde pieces sitting together, like sections and some pink pieces that sit together, but like, I'm okay with that. I really don't mind. Just take this a little bit and make this pink. So there's not too much blonde in one area. Love as well that even with really complex colours, apparently I still don't use a mirror anymore. I have way too much faith in my own... Actually no, I don't even have faith in my ability. 
so I don't know why. I think it's just laziness. I seriously do not have faith in me. I don't know why I said that. Blonde, but still it's blonde. Boom, that's great. Separ separating out the sections to see where they fall. This looks very pink, but you know, when all the blonde bits dry, it'll get lighter. So I don't think this looks too bad so far. Okay, because I've got pink hair, this bit's gonna be blonde. I am really trying to consider the placement of my sections. I've never had to section like this before because I've never done several colours before, except like split dye. I've never just done like strands. It looks so light, honestly. If this doesn't work, then revolution, I want my money back. Okay, all of this side's done. Now onto this. Again, there's pink there, so I'm gonna want blonde hair. I think it looks pretty cool right now, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely most scared to do my money piece because I'm gonna have a different pattern for my money piece than for the rest of my hair. I'm not gonna properly section out all the brown, I'm just getting like the vast majority of it that I can. I'm so terrified right now. <sighs> that looks insane and that was so stressful to do. And now I guess I'll just have to try and match. I don't want this bit to go pink, but it doesn't look like it is. Okay. I'm really starting to think that this guy just might not pick up at all. Like, all the pink bits, they're just getting lighter and lighter. Like, you can barely even distinguish. That's it. I've dyed my hair, so I'm gonna let it sit. I don't know, not long, like 20 minutes maybe, it says leave it up to 30, up to 30, so I'll probably leave it about 20 minutes and then wash it out, and then I guess we will see what I end up with when I get back. Oh, by the way, the swatch is like still really, really light, yeah, as I've dried, it's like just still super light, so we'll see. I really like this hair, but I think that the Revolution shades are clearly crap. Revolution drops don't work. Otherwise, I would have had way more colour than the tiny, tiny little bit I got. 
Like, look, that is a strand that I put a lot of pink on, and um, it's barely coloured. It's like pastel, properly pastel. But anyway, don't buy the Revolution drops. Clearly, they don't work. Because I think that it only got any pink at all because I added in some crazy colour pinkissy now. Without that, I really don't think we'd be here. But anyway, I love it. I really like the pink one pink, like, I think it's so cute. I did think that the result would be more dramatic, but this is what we got, this is what I'm working with. And um, for all my hair, Barrage just pops as pink, like you can see. And it's more prominent up here. Yeah, there's, there's pink in it. It's just not as pink as I thought it was going to be. But it's like a diluted rose gold. And um, see what I mean, like, bits, pops of pink with the blonde and it does look really cute and for an impromptu hair colour I really like it, I'm really happy I kind of feel like I look like I'm going to a festival thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it if you did please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and commenting down below I know that the result wasn't as prominent as I'm sure you were all expecting and as I was expecting but I still really like it so let me know what you think I really hope it's picking up on camera because like the little pink hues mixing with the blonde it is super cute so I really hope it's picking up if you've not already then make sure to subscribe um my hair colors are getting more and more adventurous I mean I tried a brand new technique today and I don't think I did too badly if it showed up more, I think it would have been gorgeous. I mean, as it is, it's cute. I hope to see you very soon in a brand new video. Until then, stay colourful. Bye!